This video is an overview of the coradial constraint. The coradial constraint is a combination of the equal constraint and the concentric constraint. The coradial constraint is used after sketch figures have been sketched and only takes two mouse clicks. Make sure the two circles are on the same plane and make sure you have status hints turned on. Here's an example of how the coradial constraint can be very useful when creating 3D figures. An extension to this shaft with a flat for a set screw is easy to produce with a coradial constraint. The arc tool is selected and the top face of the cylinder is selected as the sketch plane. A 270 degree arc is drawn on this surface and the coradial constraint is selected. The top rim of the cylinder is selected first and when the arc is selected, its radius is automatically modified to match the radius of the cylinder. Now a line is drawn to close the arc. Without this line, this would be an open sketch. Open sketches cannot be converted into 3D features. Once the sketch is closed, the Extrude Boss tool is used to create the feature. This tutorial introduces you to the coradial constraint. This constraint is a combination of the equal constraint and the concentric constraint and is generally used for pre-existing geometry.